Anfield may no longer be the impenetrable fortress of yesteryear, but there are few Premiership sides who would regard a trip up to Liverpool with optimism after two successive defeats, especially if they'd never won there before in their history. Graham Taylor had promised to take a few bottles of wine for his old friend and wine buff Gerard Houllier, and the bookmakers would have given long odds on the Frenchman drinking them in commiseration. Uh, defeated in the first two games in the Premiership. Now coming up against the might of Liverpool. This tremendous crowd. Think about 44,000 in here today. An early touch for Chris Day. And the bad is for him. Chamberlain out the side. Watford's travelling fans, and there are thousands of those today. Such as a good interception from Page, and now Watford can break. Ngongi out wide on the right. Watford have men up. Tee up, Johnson might try his luck. Good stop from Westerfeld and away. Gerard's interception. A real genuine opportunity for Watford. A great save from the Dutch keeper. Couldn't hold on to it. Johnson hit it sweetly. Westerfeld, with the help from Gerard, got it away. Nice touch inside by Fowler to Schmeitzer. Oh, he's gone past Page. Oh, and nearly put into his own net. And uh, I think that was Williams. Mark Williams who'd come back there. Way of interpreting that is that he nearly put it into his own net. Another one is uh, that he saved Watford because there were plenty of Liverpool shirts up on the far post. And Kamara waiting too. Must have felt the 24 year old Dutch keeper. Peter Kennedy curls one in. Mooney couldn't get that one away. Will come to Mooney again! And Tommy Mooney has put Watford ahead. Just a quarter of an hour gone. Well, it might say it was a bit fortuitous, but uh, he didn't miss his chance, Tommy Mooney. He scored nine goals last season. And in Watford's third game in the Premiership, he's got a vital one. Kennedy's free kick it was, putting pressure on the Liverpool defence. And the ball came off Mooney initially, but it came back to him. In fact, it was an excellent effort from uh, Williams getting stuck in there. Push inside as Liverpool began to make the numbers count. Fowler, weak shot in the end, got into a good position. Gerard Houllier, a few language problems from the touchline. Say the Watford fans. And there goes the wave. The manager who recognises the importance of the fans, and there aren't many of those in the Premiership. Kamara, a little touch inside. Good looking shot. What a good save by Chris Day. Redknapp really got hold of that. Chris Day was equal to it. Jimmy Redknapp, most of the Liverpool play focuses around him these days. Good stop from Day. Fowler and Burgess in the clear here. Another great stop from Day. Lovely little touch from Fowler and Berger kept his head. Chip might have been better, but a good stop from Day. Green's really coming down now. Berger doing that missed opportunity. Taylor shouting instructions as Redknapp prepares to take this uh, kick. There's uh, five in the Watford wall. Half the team from here. It's Berger, in fact. Oh, no, a great stop from Chris Day. It's become a battle between Day and Berger now. Redknapp fainted to take it. Berger beautifully left footed, and Day was equal to it.
John Johnson. For Steve Gerrard. Cage battling and really Johnson does not look good. We have a look at this uh, challenge again. Steven Gerrard, he really, it, it looked fairly harmless. But uh, Johnson fell awkwardly. He's a worried man now. And this really does not look good for Watford, of course. Johnson, a, a key part of this uh, Watford Premiership campaign. And uh, well, there's the guilty man, if guilt it is indeed. But uh, he's off. Great ball to Mooney, Mooney's in the clear. Good stop, he'll come out to Hyde again, he's chipped it. Off the line by Song. He's not been on long as a substitute. And he really came to Liverpool's uh, rescue there. It was Hyde's through ball. And Mooney out on the right-hand side, seemed to have done everything right. It's a good stop from Westerfeld, and Hyde chipped the keeper, but found Song on the line. A memorable victory here at Anfield. What a magnificent effort. Graham Taylor, well, he must be a pleased man. A fairly lame handshake from Julio. You not surprised about that. But what would have fully deserved this victory? A little punch there from Taylor. And here's the man, Tommy Mooney, whose goal has given Watford the three points and thoroughly deserved two. Liverpool won their first game away to Sheffield Wednesday. It's their first home game, and they've gone down to the Hertfordshire club. And certainly the Watford fans responsible as well for this, cheering on their side. Mooney, who put that little bit of grass in his sock up to the playoffs, and Watford got their place. They say he'll be putting a bit of the Anfield turf in his sock today. What a memorable day for him. And for the travelling Watford fans, it's really been a, a glorious day. And they're the, the team going over to applaud the fans. And they deserve it as much as this marvellous Watford side. What an excellent performance. It's a final score here at Anfield, a memorable one. Liverpool nil, Watford won. Oi, click here for more videos.